Hi, welcome to another dialog tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to create a drop down menu. Drop down menu ensures that you can populate your data with options. You can give your users options. For example, if your user wants to pick, if you're creating a, a meal delivery um, platform, you can, you can ask them to choose to select from an area. If you're creating a book, a book store, you can allow, you can ask them to choose the types of book they want to add to their, to their app. So, uh, it really does work if you're trying to create a whole lot of things. Drop down, you know, after adding drop down to your form, make sure that you can choose data from a different category entirely. So this is how you get started. First, you create a record that contains the data that you want, and then you create a record that con, a, a collection that contains multiple category. For example, this are PDF, this is a PDF. And what this, what this application does is that it enables users to be able to create uh, a ton, you know, form options into a readable PDF that they can access via Google Drive. So when they click on it, they are able to choose. So we want them to be able to choose from these three different types of categories, like so. So if you click on this, you can see the categories are companies, individuals, and business. So what this is going to do is that what this is going to do is that when the user is clicking the type of PDF they want, they can easily click this and they can submit this form. Yeah. The way we ensure that this particular uh, collection can see this other record is to create relationships. That's what we're going to do. So we can create relationship either way, but we're going to do it in the invoice feed. In invoice feed. Click on the add property. We'll go here and say we want to relate it with the PDF. You'll be given different options. One of them is a PDF can have multiple invoice types and invoice types belongs to one PDF. So the other option is a PDF can only have one invoice type and invoice type can have multiple PDF. An invoice type can have multiple PDF. A PDF can have multiple invoice types. No, we're not picking the first one. We're picking this one. A PDF can only have one invoice type and invoice type can have multiple PDFs. So click on done. I click on save. So now we now have a relationship both ways. So I dialog create relationship right here with the invoice type and then it also create relationship uh, this way. So this could be, instead of the inv invoice type, we could actually call it invoice category. You can call it invoice category like so. Invoice category say save. So then we come back to our form, click on the feed, then we'll be, we'll be able to populate it. So just click on add feed. Click here where it says invoice categories. When you click where it says invoice categories, you can say you don't have to sort it. It's fine. You don't have to sort it, except maybe you want to. You don't have to sort it. So uh, we'll just, you know, go this way and reduce it. So I'm, I'm going to extend it, but normally you should be able to screw with your thumb. When your user starts using their phone, they should be able to screw with their thumb when they start using it. So now we have the sign up, we have the login, and we have the home screen. So when I log in, it's going to take me here where I can pick a new category. So I could just, um, I could, so let's go ahead and preview our application. Let's see the database we signed up with, the record I signed up with, so I don't have difficulty logging in. So I'm going to go uh, preview. So uh, now we have the title, we have the description, the image, and when I click on it, I'm able to select companies, individual, and businesses. So let's let's fill it out so we'll see. So I'm just going to fill with uh, demo data. Demo data. I'm going to choose a, a photo, any photo of my choice. Just going to choose this one. Gonna choose any photo of my choice and then I'll go ahead and choose a category which is company and say create PDF. When I create the PDF, it stays on the screen. It's okay. We did not create any other action. So then I'll go back to my records. I'll go back to my record where it says PDF. Click on it. Click on it. You can see invoice. You can see the invoice category right here. Like so it's company. And then, so you can see what I'm talking about, right? Then let's go back to the other record and see if anything changed. Click right here. Click right here. 
So you can see the PDF that belongs to this category. So every PDF we add will belong to a new, will be, will be added here. So if we have um, 10 PDF, right here is going to say 10 PDF, right? So that's how you add categories to your form. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments. If you have questions, feel free to do so. And also, if you are looking for, if you want to engage on Twitter, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul, Paul underscore Okodua. That's it. Paul underscore Okodua. That's it. O-K-O-D-U-W-A. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. Feel free to follow me there. Ask your questions there and I'll do well to reach out to you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful work day ahead.